दिस इज इंग्लिश शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन नंबर सेवेंटी फोर एंड द डिक्टेशन स्पीड इज वन फोर्टी वर्ड्स पर मिनट रेडी स्टार्ट ऑन द अकेजन ऑफ सेवेंटी एथ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द एडोपन ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया I convey my warm greetings to all of you and to all our fellow citizens in India and abroad. It was 70 years ago on this very day that in this central hall itself through the members of the constituent assembly we the people of India adopted enacted and gave to ourselves this constitution. It was in 2015 the 125th birth anniversary year of Dr Bhim Rao Ambedkar that the government of india decided to celebrate november 26 as constitution day every year this is a commendable initiative to reiterate our gratitude to the chief architect of our constitution this is for the first time that we are celebrating the constitution day in the central hall with the participation of members of both houses of parliament it is a privilege for all of us to witness and participate in this historic event by their sheer wisdom prudence foresight and diligence the makers of our constitution prepared a futuristic and vibrant document that reflects our ideals and aspirations on one hand and protects the future of all indians on the other the constitution of india lies at the foundation of the world's largest democracy this is the supreme law in the country's democratic framework and it continuously guides us in our endeavors the constitution is also the fountain head of our democratic system of governance and our guiding light we indians have had a tradition of maintaining our indian identity while also welcoming noble ideas emanating from all the sources this cultural ethos also finds its reflection in the making of our constitution we have adopted the best practices from several other constitutions of other countries in addition the imprint of our age old values and the ideals from our freedom struggle can also be seen in our constitution our constitution is of the people of india by the people of india and for the people of india it is a national document whose different facets also reflect the democratic systems prevalent in our ancient assemblies ancient indian republics and the buddhist sanghas under the extraordinary chairmanship of dr rajendra prasad the constituent assembly accomplished the exceptional feat of blending and balancing different ideas and ideologies the drafting committee of the constituent assembly under the chairmanship of dr bhim rao ambedkar displayed unparalleled prudence honesty grit and diligence and gave final shape to the constitution our democracy finds its resonance in our constitution to ensure that the constitution remains relevant over time the makers of the constitution also incorporated provisions allowing future generations to make such amendments as may be deemed necessary indian democracy is duly regarded and respected all over the world this year the people of india participated in the 17th general election and accomplished the largest democratic exercise in the world over 610 million people cast their vote in this election the participation of women voters was almost equal to that of men the election of 78 women members to 17th lok sabha being the highest number of women members ever elected to this house is a glorious achievement for our democracy today all the members members of the standing committee of parliament on empowerment of women are women this signifies an important social and political change reflective of a bright future the people of our country deserve to be complimented for the value and respect that the indian constitution has earned over the last 70 years likewise the three organs of the union and state governments that is the legislature the executive and the judiciary deserve to be complimented for the same strengthening the relationship and synergy between the union and states our journey towards cooperative federalism is a living example of the dynamism of our 
constitution while delivering his last speech in the constituent assembly on 25th of november 1949 dr ambedkar had said that the success of the constitution would depend upon the conduct of the people of india and the political parties the illustrious makers of our constitution had with complete devotion and honesty envisioned to serve and work conscientiously while remaining free from fear or favor affection or ill will and bias they would have been confident that their future generations that is all of us will adopt these values with the same spontaneity and integrity as they themselves did i think in the present times we all need to introspect and reflect upon this in one of his speeches to the constituent assembly dr bhimrao ambedkar while underlining the importance of constitutional morality emphasized that the essence of constitutional morality was to regard the constitution as supreme and to follow the constitutionally mandated procedures regardless of any ideological differences all the three organs of the state persons gracing the constitutional posts members of the civil society and common citizens of india are expected to abide by constitutional morality according to our constitution it is the duty of every citizen to abide by the constitution and respect its ideals and institutions to cherish and follow the noble ideals of our freedom struggle to renounce practices derogatory to the dignity of women and to value and preserve the rich heritage of our culture the constitution also mentions other duties of citizens mahatma gandhi while speaking about rights and duties of people had said the true source of rights is duty if we all discharge our duties rights will not be far to seek by incorporating the provisions relating to fundamental duties into our constitution our parliament has made made it abundantly clear that while being alert about their rights citizens should also be conscious of their duties fundamental duties also remind the people of their moral responsibilities it can be said that the soul of the constitution lies in its preamble and in the parts pertaining to fundamental rights directive principles and fundamental duties rights and duties are two sides of the same coin our constitution provides the fundamental right to freedom of speech and expression and it also enjoins upon citizens the duty to safeguard public property and to abjure violence therefore if someone misconstrues the meaning of the freedom of speech and expression and is about to damage some public property then another who prevents him from indulging in such an act of violence and anarchy will be seen as a dutiful citizen therefore we need to perform our duties and thereby create circumstances which would ensure effective protection of rights developing the spirit of humanism is also a fundamental duty of citizens to serve with compassion towards all is also inherent in this duty i would like to mention one shrimati mukta ben of gujarat on whom i had the honor of conferring padma shri at rashtrapati bhavan this very year despite losing her eyesight in her childhood she devoted her whole life to the welfare of others she has brightened the lives of many visually impaired girls through her organization she has been instilling the light of hope in the lives of numerous blind women from many states of india citizens like her truly uphold the ideals of our constitution they deserve to be called nation builders as members of parliament you have taken an oath to bear true faith and allegiance to the constitution of india as by law established and to uphold the sovereignty and integrity of india as the president of india i too have taken an oath to preserve protect and defend the constitution and the law to the best of my ability and devote myself to the service and well being of the people of india we all need to be always mindful of our oath and affirmation citizens and voters of india expect their representatives to work to solve issues to their welfare 
most people never get to meet their own members of parliament but they regard you as the guardians of their hopes and aspirations in deference to this trust and faith serving the people should be our foremost priority it is indeed a great fortune to enter this holy temple of democracy and get an opportunity to serve the people of india the most important objective and ideal presented to us by the constitution is to secure to all its citizens justice and equality of status and and of opportunity it is only because the framers of constitution ensured equality of opportunity that i have this opportunity to address this historic sitting of parliament as the president of india